me Liz this. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be trying the try a chapter challenge thing. So basically um, for this month of January I have picked four books um, based off of these books that I have in brown paper packaging and I unwrapped them and those are the books I was going to read. And then I've picked more books based off of slips of paper that I made and put into a jar and I picked three that are solid on my TBR um, and then I picked four more that I'm going to use for this try chapter challenge so how this is going to work is I'm going to read either the first chapter in the book or part of the first chapter because this one has a really long chapter and I'm not going to read that whole chapter because I don't want this to take forever and I just want to read part of the chapter for that one that's super long this one has a really long prologue, like really long, but it's also much of a smaller size and I think it might be easier to read as well because it's Sanderson. So I'm going to see if I can read the whole prologue, although it is pretty long, so if I don't read the whole prologue, don't be surprised. But I am going to read the, per the first chapter for both of these because they're reasonably good length. But I'm going to read the first chapter in these books and then after that I'm going to decipher whether I should keep it or unhaul it. And then after that, I'm going to decipher which one I which one I think sounds the best, or I want to read the most, and I'm going to put that on my January TBR. books that I'm going to be reading for this try chapter challenge is Edge Dancer by Brandon Sanderson, Dragon Watch by Brandon Mule. We've got two Brandons in here. I didn't even realize that, but there you go. 1945 by Robert Conroy. This is historical fiction. And Robin Hood by Henry Gilbert. I think I'm going to start with 1945 and we'll just see what happens. Um, this is, this says on the front, what if Japan hadn't surrendered in World War II? So, that'll be interesting. Um, I'm just gonna start this one, and we'll see where we go from there. So I read the prologue and part of the first chapter. I didn't continue with the whole chapter because the prologue was quite a few pages so I thought I would just read part of the first chapter. Actually I was just going to read the prologue and then I read a couple pages in the first chapter which should tell you what I think about this so far and I'm keeping this. I definitely want to keep reading this. Um, this is intriguing me. It's interesting. Um, actually, I'm kind of glad because this was just kind of a random on the whim like found this never heard of it type of book so kind of glad that it's actually interesting next we're gonna go with this one i have a feeling this is going to be the least um it's going to pull me in the least right now i did just finish reading robin hood by howard Pyle, so i love the story of robin hood and all that but i just have a feeling like this might not be um you know something that I feel like reading right now. I don't really know. I just have that feeling. Also, these books, the spines, man, open sesame. Also, now I'm like, I feel like I'm destroying this a little bit, whatever. I have to read it, right? So, we're gonna read chapter one. I don't, I think this is the one I said to last forever. So, I'm gonna try just to read at least five pages of the first chapter, and we'll see how it goes from there. So I've read like three pages of it, well two and a half pages of this, and um, I feel like this could be a good book, like I'm not going to get rid of it, I don't think, I just really, really, really don't want to read this right now, um, my mood is telling me no, I don't want to read this, I just recently finished reading a book about Robin Hood, and I was reading this, and it was just like, don't get me wrong, I like the script, 
good books, but for right now, my brain doesn't want to read this, this, this much descriptive, and just, I don't want to read this book. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't want to read this book right now. Am I going to get rid of it? No. Because I still want to read it in the future, at least at this point. I just don't want to read this right now. So, that's not happening. It's not happening. I'm going to read Edge Dancer next. I'm saving Dragon Watch for last because I know that I'll want to keep reading that. And I'll, most likely the one I'll end up choosing unless this one ends up being absolutely amazing, which is possible because it's Sanderson. But I just know that I have been really wanting to read Dragon Watch for a little bit now. So um, we have a prologue, which is actually a really long prologue. I kept flipping through thinking, did I miss the first chapter? Did I miss the first chapter? And I was like, no, I didn't miss the first chapter. It's legitimately this long. So, um, it feels like you keep going on forever and ever because that's how long the prologue is. Now, granted, it is a smaller book. The pages are smaller. Um, I guess the words are whatever. They're not super large size or anything. But I'm just gonna start this. I might not read the whole prologue because it is really long. But I might because the pages are short. We'll see what I feel like. It. Okay, so I'm on like page 16 of the uh, prologue or whatever. Um, what? Basically, this is so much fun to read about this but world because like, it's all familiar to me because I read, uh, I'm reading the Stormway Archive. So, like, this is from the Cosmere universe, obviously, so like, talking about things that I know about and it's really cool and I'm just like I know what that is and I know what that is and like this is super cool and so far the character seems like she's kind of cool um obviously I didn't read a ton but I didn't really read a ton watch so that one's definitely a contender though because more cosmere is always good but let's go for dragon watch first chapter read. I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, I did enjoy this and I will be reading this, but I actually really want to read a different book that I, from this thing, but essentially I thought I was going to want to read this one the most and I thought for sure this would be the one I probably would end up reading, but I wasn't thinking about the fact that I have a freaking Brandon Sanderson book on this, so of, of course I'm going to read this one. Of course, this is the one I want to read because it's Sanderson. Need I say more than that? No. Towards the end of that chapter of Dragon Watch, I was like getting into the story and, and really enjoying it, but like kind of at the beginning, I was just thinking, I want to read Edge Dancer. Like, I want to know what happens next in Edge Dancer. So, this is the book. I'm choosing this one. Uh, let's see. I want to see how many pages it is. It's like 200 and. 65 pages so and it's a smaller like size book so maybe this will be like a quick read I don't really know but this is the book that I am choosing um I haven't chosen any of these to unhaul if I was to pick one that out of all of them that I would unhaul for some reason it would probably be the Robin Hood book honestly I did consider it for a little bit but then I was like I don't know, I still kind of want to read it, so I shouldn't just unhaul it, because I still actually kind of want to read it, but... For this whole TBR thing, I'm going to be doing, like, picking my TBR for every month, trying to, like, make sure... I'm um, basically to try and get books off my shelves that I wouldn't normally just pick up. The books that I'm like, oh, I'll read that someday, but I never actually end up picking it up. I, I'm doing this TBR thing because I want to 
um, read the books on my shelves. But I think next month, I didn't really do that too much this month, but, well, I guess I kind of did, actually. But next month, or every other month that I do this, I want to have at least one read where I pick whatever book I want. So maybe in February I'll pick Dragon Wars. But this is being added to my TBR. My TBR is ever growing. I will try and show you all the books that I'm reading in my TBR for this January. I'm not going to probably be able to actually read all of them. We'll see how this goes. But I hope to at least read four of them. I don't think I've quite had a TBR stack this large. But this is my TBR stack. A mix of a lot of different things, I suppose. Mostly fantasy, let's be honest. But um, I'm currently reading the two bottom books, Bonhoeffer and Words of Radiance. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below if you're into history, historical so fashion, or sewing. Check out my other channel link below. I will see you in the next one. I hope you have your own fun reading adventures. Bye.